What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. It's about Chucky Season 2 in this video here again today. And we're going to be talking about Fiona Dorf now being officially confirmed to be back to reprise her role as Nika. We're going to talk about where it seems she's going to be going. And we're going to be going off of uh, some other things as it pertains to a couple of audition tapes that have surfaced online that I believe are actually tied directly to Chucky Season 2 because of the titles of these videos. Now, just to start off with the Fiona Dorf announcement. Now, Don Mancini took to Twitter earlier this week to confirm or sometime recently a couple of days ago to confirm that Fiona Dorf will be back as Nika in Chucky season two and he did tease where she would be going when talking recently with Bloody Disgusting last year he said it's not the end of Nika's story by any means and I've always had a plan for this and I think that people will hopefully be really gratified when they see what lies in store for Nika so as we know at the end of season one Nika is basically dismembered uh, her limbs are gone she is completely just rendered useless in a lot of people's ways I know a lot of people were just like oh my gosh how could you do that because Nika's been through so much she's had she's been sexually assaulted you know she's being framed for things she isn't committing now now she's basically rendered useless she has a she has a soul of a killer in her um it's just so much going on it's like it's like Nika gets no peace and then it's like a cherry on top of all this BS she's dealing with and it's like fans are hoping she does of course have a satisfying end it's like okay how do you come back from that you cut off you cut off her limbs <laughs> but he assures us that there is going to be something that hopefully i guess a percentage of you will be satisfied with not that everyone's going to be satisfied with it but i know fiona herself has also had some interviews recently to go on about how she's excited to be back and i think one of them she talked about how she thinks nika deserves some revenge for what tiffany did to her so a revenge angle from tiffany's perspective definitely is gonna probably i mean from uh, nika's perspective is definitely probably gonna play out here in season two but i want to get into this audition tape that again might be telling us some things that we could go off of as to where nika could be going now this isn't outwardly confirmed to be related to chucky but i'm going to say a few things one these audition tapes that are going to be in the description of this video the titles of them are related to a project named songbird songbird is the working title for chucky season two and the other interesting thing is that if you listen to these audition tapes you will pick up on certain cues and certain words certain things that will hint at the fact that this is a character being masked as Nika interacting with Chucky's kids Glenn and Glinda and their mother Tiffany who was present in these sequences I guess now this is from an actress named Magdalena Gerald who has her auditions up on Vimeo and the, the auditions are for characters named Ron and Barbara now from what I've gathered and what I'm hearing Ron and Barbara that's just Glenn and Glinda there's also a mention of a character named Chris Chris I'm saying is going to be Chucky that's Chucky I assume and I think I hear something of a Nora or a Norma that has to be Nika and what happens in the one with Ron who again I'm saying is Glenn Glenn is con is confronting Tiffany about holding Nika hostage and talking about how she has this she's she's killing and she's got this got this person in the house who's dismembered which again sounds like she's like that glenn is referring to nika who is again somebody that we know has been dismembered and is being held hostage held against their will there's also this discussion about tiffany being a lesbian which you know was something that was brought up in chucky season one uh and then another thing that happens in the second audition tape is with Barbara Glinda comes face to face with her father Chucky who again remember Nika has a scrap of his soul in her body so at one point during this tape there's a moment where Glinda is trying to I think Glenn and Glinda Glenn and Glinda are both trying to help Nika get out of here get away from Tiffany for whatever reason but then Chucky takes over and he's surprised to see Barbara, a.k.a. Glinda, and he's like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. And of course, Glinda does not understand this because, again, it's it's Chucky in Nika's body. Um, and it's basically what their interactions end up revealing is that there's some trauma there for Glinda over Chucky's absence in her life. 
and the fact that he just left their family. I think this will lead us into finding out things in season two pertaining to what happened after the events of Seed, before the events of Curse, and some things going on there with the family dynamic and how they tried to be a family but it didn't work or something like that. Or maybe something in between what's been going on with the events of Curse, Cult, and now with this TV series that relate to Chucky's relationship with his daughter. So clearly they haven't seen each other in a while. But now again, Songbird, I have to reiterate, is the working title for Chucky season two. So this is why I believe this is for Chucky. All these names are code names. When you listen to these tapes and hear what they're saying, you will pick up on what I'm starting to pick up on. It seems like this is very heavily audition tapes for Chucky season two, which again, the working title was Songbird. And all these names are just cult names. For those of you who watch my screen videos, you've seen what I've done with the one for Simeon Days. He's supposed to be playing this character or going over this script for this character named Derek, who we all agree is just a cold name in reference to the fact that he's a love interest, similar to how Derek was a love interest in Scream 2. And everyone's expecting Scream 6 to have some type of Scream 2 influence heavily, considering it's expected to be set at college. So it's the same thing I'm picking up here with these Chucky season two masked audition tapes, even though they're not named Chucky, they're named Songbird. They're under the working title of the season, Songbird. And in the in the tapes, yes, you hear mentions of characters named Ron and Barbara and Norma or Nora, but and a character named Chris. But when you listen and hear how they're interacting with each other, you're going to pick up on what I'm saying. This is Glenn and Glinda interacting with Tiffany and Nika, who Tiffany has been holding hostage. Nika literally is at one point going on about how their mother is crazy, has been holding them hostage, how she's wanted in five states or something like that. And... It seems that Chucky has a plan for how he's going to actually get back at Tiffany for what she did at the end of season one. That seems like where we can think of where Nika will end up in relation to getting revenge on Tiffany. At one point during this plan, I'm going to assume that Nika will be the one executing this payback on Tiffany, not Chucky. In that split second, Nika will take over. She'll be full on in, in support of what Chucky is doing, and she's going to kill Tiffany. And I don't know how she's going to get her limbs back, but we'll see how that works. But let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Again, the audition tapes will be in the description. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post and kiss your name this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.